gas. There's no static at all. No static at all. FM. No static at all. Here, write down um, this sucks on there. Why are you pounding on it? This is the test. Sounds good, except I don't want to listen to this. <clears throat> what are we doing here? I'm trying to take apart an Xbox so that completely ripping everything out. You mean an Xbox 360? All right, let's see if we can take this apart because it's very complicated. Take all the crap out. So why are we taking it apart? Uh, because I want to do a video on... Give me the screwdrivers. Now, you got to cut that out. Can't keep doing that. Sorry, balls and wieners. All right. So I don't really know how to take this apart because whenever I had to have them apart, I got people to do it for me because there's super secret locations inside of here that you press down in order to get it out. No, oh, I should take the, top, the front off. What you can do without tools, as long as you have nails. And there's a... Uh removable face plates you can get for the Xbox 360. That's why that is a, th a thing. I don't think you need to... The little things you press in here. I don't know. I feel like you're rushing. No, oh, I'm more Slavic than I am Russian. See, we're talking about Eastern Europeans. So you can kind of see them through the hole where the latches are. You just have to press them in correctly in order to get them to unlatch, but sometimes they're not easy to unlatch. And it goes down a long way, doesn't it? But you don't see it go all the way down that far. All right. So I got all those. There, there's another piece. Oh man, I should probably do the same thing on the bottom. I don't want it to come out on its own. Whoa! Told you it was unstable. Didn't I tell you it was unstable? Now make it more stable. All right. So you got all the latches from one side. I think there's like a pattern here that shows you where the, uh, the latch things are. All right. Got those out. So we've got the that. We've got the front panel gone. Uh, we got the bottom panel. We got the top. With the, well, that's the bottom. This is the top where the hard drive goes. And now there's a whole bunch of latches, I think, on the back. And then it's kind of like a clamshell thing. Kind of what is what it looks like. Maybe this isn't long enough. And there's a couple of latch things. Now you can just like, flip this up. Do the same thing with that. That. And maybe the back just swivels closed. Ooh. In the 70s, there was a fake commercial on Saturday Night Live about a wristwatch that was so complicated and it needed three hands to operate. And so during the commercial, you would just see, you know, these this one hand trying to get the time to show. And then you would get another hand that came in. They had to both press things at the same time in order to get the time to show. We laughed a lot harder than you did. There's a big old latch like right here, but I don't really see anything to push. Oop. So the other side must be held on by screws that you can see inside. So this looks like it could just come out if you pop these the right way. Don't, don't you, don't you relatch yourself. Relatch, don't do it. I wonder if that's broken. Ooh, that was interesting. Speed run taking the Xbox 360 apart? No, they'd have like seven or eight of them. Taken apart by the time I'd get this done. And it seems like they're off. A lot of them are. 
but it doesn't seem like it really wants to come up. This isn't even recording. It said it was recording. Yeah, it did, but I must have stopped when I disconnected the um, camera preview display. No, you should not do that. There, all done. Well, why don't you uh, just start this now? Uh, I did. Now this is more interesting. Well then, why are you showing right. my face? Because you're funny. Uh, I'm not trying to be. Yep. Now we need other tools. Go get me more tools. Oh, uh, crap. I need like a, uh, not a Torx, but the uh, a leafy thing. Go get okay. the uh, the kit that's in the kitchen drawer. Yeah. Right. See if that has the right tool. I don't think. Oh, this. By the way, this is never going back together. Sure it is. Not in my lifetime. Interesting that the, the screws are not all the same. These screws on the side, oh, these two are gold, and these, maybe because these are long ones. There's some that go all the way through this metal box here, which is the Faraday cage, and that end up in the plastic on the far side. So those are the ones that are probably silver, and then all the rest are goldish. Color. I think they're just holding the, uh, they're probably just holding the motherboard on. So if I take out four of those, oh, there's another one, there's two more. I guess it's kind of a color code. I'll tell you which ones to take out if you don't want to take the motherboard off. All right, so now this is upside down. This probably has to come away, which is the eject button. And there, if we have the, let's see if this is the back, and this is the right side. And then the, we have all the sides off. So oh. here's the first look that we have for the inside of the Xbox. We have the ODD, the optical disk drive, we have a heatsink and a heatsink and a wind tunnel and a power connector and the AVIP. Wind tunnel? Yeah, the wind tunnel. This is when you uh, have a fan in the back and it moves air. This is the tunnel that it moves through and moving air is called wind. Did you say you wanted me to look at the camera? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, if you're so moving it too quickly, it's gonna make me sick. All right, so. We would like to get the ODD out, and it looks like it's taped together here on the front panel, and it's no longer taped together. If you want to get the eject button out, looks like it's got a little snap there. Let's see if we can just get this out easily, like that. So far, that's been the easiest thing. We do have to take the um, the front panel board off, which is this little thing that has the um, four LEDs and a couple of antennas. We're not going to mention that. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm going to need a smaller one of these. Do you have um, any of these? I don't know what these are. This is a, a these nuts? tip. So I'm going to go after to get another tool. How did this get on the other side? All right, so here we are again. Uh, just in case we have to edit, let's slate it. Here's my, my other little tools. Let's see which one do we need. This one looks perfect. All right, there's only two screws on the top. One of them is gone. I told you you're not getting this back together again. And there's the little holder and diffuser. And there's a up. Oh, there's another one on the bottom underneath the diffuser thing. And so there's that screw. Yeah, I'm not finding that. Okay. Then you have this little daughter board, which has a, uh, this looks like an antenna. This is the uh, switch for the front panel button. This is a crystal, of course. This is probably the Wi-Fi. 
module. This is what you see on the back. This connector goes through the hole in the chassis, connects to a uh, connector on the motherboard. We'll look at that later. A couple more chips on the back, and uh, that's out of the way. So now we probably want to get the ODD out, and that's probably going to require. Woo! Man, that's. It's probably going to require lifting. There, lifting, and then we take out two connectors on the back. One of them is a power connector, another one is a SATA connector, a right angle SATA connector. Yeah. So, in addition to power, there's other like um, signals that go through this uh, auxiliary cable. Uh, so there's power that goes through, there's the state of the, the button, and some other sideband signals that are in there. Uh, we'll just get these cables off of the motherboard, so they're not just hanging a boot. Now it's up there, and now we have a little bit more uh, view of the motherboard. Um, I do not want to take off the heatsink, because you'll never get back on unless you get somebody who's willing to try. Um, this is in all likelihood the South Bridge over here. Yeah, so let's let's take it apart some more. Wind tunnel. And there's a couple of fans in the back. I think this one is the male and this is the female so this would be the microsoft fanboy this would be the microsoft fan girl <laughs> don't laugh too hard because it'll hurt all right so how do we get the motherboard out it's probably going to take some screws let us go where no one has gone before you know in our lab they have since they have two sizes of screws and by that I mean the bit size. What they do is they have, you know, these these screwdrivers that are hanging from the ceiling with their power cords and springs to pop them back up. And they have one screwdriver with one bit and a second screwdriver with the second bit. So you never have to switch the bits out of the screwdrivers. You just use the appropriate one for whatever screw that you're trying to unscrew, which is very convenient if you have to take apart a lot of these. All right. So, let's see if there's any screws that are holding this down. A couple of USB ports here on the front. It could be, let's see, the hold of the outlet. Do we have to do the fan out? I don't think so. The back doesn't come off. Basically, we just have to unplug the fans. And that's done. I don't think you have to unscrew those. It's interesting that they do look like down here in these holes, which you can't see because the light is on the different side. Inside this hole, it kind of looks like a, a minus screw. So outside of the... Uh, I wonder if I could just pop this out so that it's not so much in the way. or a, like a semi-permanent clip. Dude, dude, you're in my life. All right, the fan persons are out. Now let's see. There we go, Xbox 360 motherboard. You know what uh, model this is? The original. So it's Xenos motherboard. All right, so, so inside of here you have some heat pads for the memories that are on the bottom. I think two of them, I mean, they're double-sided, so two of them are obviously sticking to the RAMs on the bottom. Um, I'm gonna leave them on, so. 
theoretically, you can put this back together. If you want to see the architecture of it, uh, click on this link. Click on the go to the next video that'll be out in a day. So here's a bunch of big screws that are holding down the heat sinks that are on the other side. Uh, we'll go ahead and disassemble those because somebody wants to see everything. We actually have some of those chips inside. Inside an acrylic case. Inside an acrylic case or a glass case. Not really sure. Let's use something that's beefy. This looks beefy. By the way, this is now going to shut down due to heat because it's done. Okay. So tell me when you're going to shut it off. How close is it? Why don't you just monitor it and tell me where it's turned off? Okay. Oh, I didn't lose it all of them. I have one to go. These really are beefy chips. Oop. That's the sound of a heat sink falling. And there is the CPU heat sink with the heat spreader. It's wholly contained with the heat pipe coming up through the top of the fin, so it helps spread the heat up there faster. And then the fans, the windpipe, go directly through this, so it has very efficient heating and cooling properties. And then this is the GPU heat sink. Uh, basically just a solid bit of copper here. I think this is machined down because the die, the two die that you can see here are uh, like different heights. And this is what the top looks like here, where we see the CPU here, the power PC, and this is the GPU. And that's basically it. So uh, do you have any questions? <laughs> I guess not. So when that's you, the end of the video. When are you going to edit the video? I'm not going to edit the video. <laughs> What the hell? It's change. Every Microsoft oh. 360 comes with little bits of money inside. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. That's it. Hold on. Where's my limo? Ah! Perfect timing. <laughs> Stupid power. It's not power, it's heat. It's, isn't that weird? These are still on, but all the lights are off in the house. Except for those. Those are fine. Isn't that weird? Perhaps. What? <laughs> I don't know.